Our goal in this video is to approximate the area under a curve. Just to approximate it for now, we'll see how to turn those approximations into something more exact using a limiting process but that won't be for a little while yet. So you have a curve from A to B. You want to approximate the area under the curve. What do you do? Our previous video contains the correct idea. We approximate the area on a bunch of little intervals. Just like when I was trying to look at the velocity of a falling object, I just looked at the velocity over a small time period. Sorry, I looked at the distance traveled over a small time period. Here, we break this interval up into a bunch of smaller intervals. This is called a partition. Then in each interval in the partition, we select a point and create a rectangle. How do we create a rectangle? Well, we take the point we selected and we go up until we hit the curve and that gives us the height of the rectangle. And the edges of the partition give it base. And we find the area of this rectangle. We can do that because an area of a rectangle is simply its base times its height. It's easy to do. And the area of this rectangle will not quite be the area we're looking for. The area we're looking for is the area under the curve. This area. So we're missing some area. We're also gaining some area we don't want though. So the hope is that those things are going to kind of cancel out and the area under this rectangle or the area of this rectangle 
should be a pretty good approximation of the area under the curve. And then we repeat this process. And we look at the areas of all of these rectangles, and we add those together. So we repeat this process, creating a rectangle for each um, sub interval in the partition and finding the areas of these rectangles. So let me try to do this picture fairly quickly. You can see that the total area of these rectangles should be a decent approximation of the area under the curve. It's definitely not perfect. You can see, you know, this is area that's under the curve, but not contained in any rectangle. This is area under the curve that's not contained in any rectangle rectangle, sort of in the opposite side of things. This is area that's in a rectangle, but not under the curve. So is that. So you're getting some area you don't want. You're getting, you're missing some area that you would do want. Hopefully, those errors are basically canceling each other out. And we can approximate the area under the curve. by adding the areas of the rectangles. This sum has a name. It is called a Riemann sum. In this video, we investigated how we can use areas of rectangles to approximate areas under curves. In the next video, let's do a quick example of that.